weeks ago, the city of Chattanooga decided to change the speed limit on several local roads in an effort to slow drivers down. But as Latricia Thomas shows us in tonight's Made in Our Hometown, that change takes a lot of work behind the scenes in one very busy city shop. Latricia. They are literally on every corner, but have you ever stopped to think about where the signs that point you in the right direction get their start? Every day we get in the car. Drive to our destination. And along the way, pass hundreds of these. Signs that tell us how fast to go, which way to turn, and where we are. If anything comes in, needs to be made, it's me and him that uh, actually has to do the job to get it out. Now meet the men that help Chattanooga drivers get where they need to go. It's nice to know that we can contribute. You might call them the city's own GPS, or gentlemen providing signs. I cannot even imagine the city without a sign. Ben Cox and Dustin Stevens crank out about 100 signs a week in the city's sign shop, an important job. Say you have an incident at your house and uh, emergency crew personnel need to get there, it allows them to be able to see the roads that they need to get to to be able to respond promptly. That starts when someone notices a sign isn't up to par. It's not uncommon for each driver to put in three or four work orders a day. Or in this case, the city decides to change the speed limit on popular roads around town. This one would be going from a 30 down to a 25. And Each sign is designed and the decals printed. The letters prepped and transferred. This bright addition to new speed limits intended to stand out. It kind of grabs your attention and lets you know, like if you travel on a road and, and you, for instance, knew that it was a 35 mile per hour and you just happen to glance up, this is going to catch your eye. In more ways than one. It reflects the light back so it can use sunlight or headlights. Creating and keeping up the 50,000 signs on city streets comes with a lot of pressure. Especially when a mistake is bound to happen once in a while and is on display for all to see. Yes, I'm not going to lie. It is embarrassing. It is very embarrassing to know that you've slipped. But from this city shop, direction we all need to get from point A to point B because without their help. I would imagine there'd be a whole lot of wrecked cars. <laughs> I mean, because without signs and, and knowing where you're going, there's, there's no way to even get to where you're at. The city takes damaged signs that are salvageable and then recycles them using the metal for new street signs.